You go see a movie, I'm on, you know, and the screen just, Allah Akbar! <laughs> like, oh wow, he's good, wow, he's good. <laughs> You'd be like, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, he speaks the language, wow. He's <laughs> fluent and Muslimish. <laughs> but I'm not really religious. Ma'an, like, if I were really religious, I would have to fast during Ramadan. I don't fast during Ramadan. Um, I couldn't drink alcohol, I drink alcohol. I'd have to pray five times a day. I don't pray, I don't pray. The only time I ever pray is if I'm almost in an accident. <laughs> Yeah, and then I just go, oh Jesus! It's the wrong God! It's the wrong God! Yeah! I say, oh Jesus, because it's quicker. It's just quicker. Yeah, oh Jesus, it's funny. If you go, oh Muhammad! Takes too long. Takes too long. Yeah, if you go, oh Muhammad! You're gonna end up in the accident, you'll be in the ambulance. I should have gone with Jesus. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? too worried, but my cousin Maji, that guy is screwed. He's screwed. <laughs> no, he's like a real Muslim. He prays five times a day. He fasts during Ramadan, and you know I love him, but he's gotta go. He's gotta go. He's gotta go. <laughs> no, I didn't say it. Trump said it. He's gotta go. He's gotta go. All I'm saying, like, if the FBI comes to our house and go, "Are there any Muslims?" I'd be like, "Yeah, Maji." You know, I'll be honest. <laughs> you would too. Actually, guys, it's kind of sad because, uh, like I was saying, guys, I'm Iranian. My wife is Indian, so our kids are all colored up. You know, and. Um, my little daughter, the six-year-old, when Trump won, she was worried. She came up to me, she goes, Daddy, am I gonna get deported? Yeah, and I told her, no, baby, you were born in America, you're not gonna be deported. But I said, Cousin Maggie, he's gotta go, he's gotta go. <laughs> I said, if the FBI comes, just point that way. That's okay. <laughs> the honest truth is, you guys, in all honesty, as a comedian, it's been hard for me to keep up with Trump. Because he says so much crazy shit every day. It's been hard. I swear to you, I don't know if you remember, he had a press conference just a, like, a, like about a month ago. And uh, he was in there and uh, no one asked him a question. He just volunteered some information. <laughs> Do you remember this? I felt bad for him watching. I swear to God, I felt bad. Because he was up there and he just starts volunteering. He goes, by the way, I just want you to know, uh, I won this election with the most electoral college votes since Ronald Reagan. And the reporter goes, sir, actually, uh, Barack Obama had more electoral college votes than you did. And he goes, that's fine. Okay, okay, well, yeah. Um, I actually won with the most electoral college votes for a Republican since Ronald Reagan. And the reporter goes, sir, actually, George Bush Sr. had more electoral college votes. And he's like, okay, fine. I won with the most electoral college votes for a Republican in this election. Can we agree that? So that <laughs> Guys, I wish that's what he would have said. What he actually said was, well, someone told me. <laughs> Who told you? Some guy in the bathroom? What happened? Was there just some guy, hey, you want one of the most electric? 
I heard that and I realized he is not qualified. He's not qualified to be president. I'm sorry, no matter what you think, he's not qualified. He's not. And listen, let me say, let me clarify. Let, listen, I'm not just poo-pooing on him. It's a, it, none of us are qualified. To be president is the number one job in the world. It's not the managerial position at Carl's Jr. <laughs> this is the president of the United States of America. And it's the only job where people go, you know what, I want an outsider. I want someone who's never done this before. <laughs> you never hear that like, you know, I want a surgeon who's an outsider. Someone who's never operated before. Someone who'll take my left eye and put it in my right eye. <laughs> I just don't feel like, I feel like we're learning with him. Like, I have a feeling when he had his first intelligence briefing, I can imagine him saying something like, wow, there's so many countries. <laughs> Can't you imagine that? <laughs> He's like, Malta's a country? I thought that was an ice cream. What? <laughs> I mean, we saw it with the travel ban. I'm sorry, but that was such a disaster. As an Iranian-American, I actually got very upset with the travel ban. Because what happened with the travel ban, the way they were trying to sell it, they said that it was to keep America safe to keep terrorists out of America. But none of the countries that were on the travel ban had committed an act of terror in America. Woo! Right? Yeah, you know that. Woo! And then they came back with travel ban 2.0, like it's an iPhone update. <laughs> and then I saw Kellyanne Conway in the news. She was defending the travel ban. She said, you know what? It's just a little bit of an inconvenience at the airport. That's all it is. She goes, after September 11th, when they were doing further scooping at the airports, I was not bothered. It was just a little, little bit of uh, an, an inconvenience. And I was watching, and I wanted to shake her and be like, it's not just a little bit of an inconvenience. Because as an Iranian-American, I was hearing the real stories, all right? I'm sure as an Iraqi, as a Syrian, you guys heard the real stories. There was families being that were being torn apart. There was people that needed medical attention that weren't getting medical attention. Weddings were being ca ca uh, called off. And then I got upset. I got pissed off. I went down to LAX and I protested. Yeah. And I don't know if you guys are protesting or not, but you totally should. It's so much fun. You should totally go. <laughs> find a protest. I swear to God, find a protest. There was one today for science. It's amazing. <laughs> even, even scientists are protesting. <laughs> they were out there. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Yeah. <laughs> guys, ever since he's been president, I find a protest every weekend. I go. It's fa you go down, they give you cookies. It's delicious. It's fantastic. <laughs> It is good exercise. I've been losing weight. People go, you doing Pilates? I go, no, I've been doing Trumpotties. I'm doing Trumpotties. Trumpotties. Tyler, I went down. Tyler, I went down to LAX. I started protesting. It felt so good. We were all marching. Everything was going great. And then this guy comes up to me and goes, bro, this is amazing. This is the most diversity I've ever seen in Los Angeles. And I go, bro, that's because we are at the airport. <laughs> People are literally flying in from around the world as we speak. He's like, yeah, but there's Asians. I go, that's because Air Asia just landed! You think all these people show up at a protest with luggage? What the hell? There was a Korean guy. Poor guy was just trying to cross the street. The Korean guy, excuse me, yeah, excuse me, no, excuse me, yeah, excuse me, yeah, no, excuse me, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, Trump must go, but so must I. I'm trying to go to Disneyland. Here's something I learned when I went to the protests. I learned, Tyler, I learned white people born in America protest differently than people of color and other people not born in America. I learned that. Because we're at the protest, everyone was marching, everything was great, it was mixed, everyone was going great, everything's going great, we're coming forward. And then, and then, the riot police showed up. And I was like, oh shit. I'm just gonna go protest over here. But the white dudes did not care. Out of my way, copper, here I come. It's my right, I'm proud that that's my right. I have a right, it's my right. It's my third amendment, my eighth amendment. He knew the amendments. It's my 45th amendment. I'm in the back, there's 45 amendments? Guys, I swear to God, I'm not making this up. There was this white guy, he had his finger in the face of the riot police, just waving it like that. And the cop had his hand on his baton. He was ready to go. And I'm in the back. I'm like, calm down, white guy! You're gonna get us in trouble! The Mexican guy next to me, uh, now's a good time to go to the bathroom. <laughs> oh my 
my God. Oh, yeah.